when you extract premolar teeth for orthodontics, you definitely are compromising the airway. When you extract teeth and retract the mouth, you shrink the size of the mouth, you shrink the size of the palate. The palate needs to be large enough so that the tongue can rest on the roof of the mouth with light suction. That's what keeps it up and out of your airway. When you create a situation where the tongue no longer fits on the palate of the mouth, it falls back and down into the airway. That is the direct correlation between extraction, retraction, orthodontics, and compromised airway. There are no long-term studies that anybody has done about what the long-term effects of extraction and retraction orthodontics has been. That's really the problem. What happens is the patients come in at a young age, they want their teeth straightened, they want their bite better aligned, they want better aesthetics. Orthodontics is done, sometimes including extractions and retractions. The patients are happy. They leave the orthodontist's office never to ever come back again. Months, days, years later, these patients have problems. And I have not seen any long-term studies that anybody's done where patients that have gone in and had extraction, retraction, orthodontics, where anybody's taken a look at what the long-term impacts are years later. I've been practicing dentistry for the past 25 years almost. These are the people that we see every day. We focus our practice on people who have airway problems, people that clench and grind their teeth, people that aren't sleeping well, people that have head and neck tension. What I can tell you is in my practice, they literally 60 to 70 plus percent of these people have had extraction and or extraction retraction orthodontics. These people are disproportionately affected years later. And what I'd really like to do is just encourage the community and the public to just have a higher level of awareness about this issue and not do it anymore. There are better ways. We have expanders. We have myofunctional therapy. There's a lot of better ways to treat these situations if we understand how and what we're treating and what the long-term impacts are going to be of our treatments.